Oh, we'll see how the flying Dutchman goes kicking that thing over, eh? You should be right. Look <laughs> at all the flathead lies up in here. They sit up here at night in the light and just keep moving. And it's just like flathead lies central. Are you just running that in the sand, Anton? I said, are you just running that in the sand? Yeah, no, it's not on. No, but it's just sitting in oh, sand. It. It's like my anchor, you know? You're a wanker? Anchor. Yeah, I know. Pages? Yep. Gets to your home screen to what you want. Chart, is it? Yeah, we want chart and sonar is the easiest one to run. Oh, you can't push on that? No, you, oh. well, you could have, but... If you pick on that, you're only going to get that. Okay. We want both. Yeah. Give me the way for a sec. Once I get it working, you can, I'll show you. I think we've got to power off. Pull this card out. There we go. So what was the problem? Just the card, because you haven't use it so long, I just need to put it back in, reinsert it, make sure it was... I'll just get some rods rigged and we'll do a dummy run and drift along here and see what happens. We'll fish the mouth of it, it'd be a drain there. Might be something sitting in it. We're just gonna wing it today, Anton. Where's the fish? Oh God, I hate that and oil. Grease again. Nah, it's not grease. It's that plastic deteriorating on that yeah. dial. Um, you want in here? Coming by, what's that just rubbish? Where? Where? Yeah. The frothy foam. Yeah. yeah. So there's all this frothy foam. Frothy foam, mate. Incoming tides, the tide's gone up over the bank, so bubbles coming up out of the mud as it fills in, makes a foam. You know, the scummier, dirtier water will froth up more than the clean water. Um, we're going to do a quick intro. I'll lecky us back up a bit. G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Hey, g'day. Back out with the Flying Dutchman. Once every 10 years, 100 years, he's allowed to make land. Comes up from the depths to go fishing. We're just out Jacob's Well, jumping pin area. It's coming up to the Flathead Classic and I believe I'm not fishing it this year because I haven't heard from any of the uh, boys I was going to be fishing with. Which is all good, I haven't really been prepped this time around, I've had some shit going on, so... It's all good, but yeah, we've got the tinny back down from Woodgate, the old boy's had it up there, he's used it once, I said, give me it back for a week or two, let's play it with some flathead. We're just gonna go with the flow, incoming tide, it's still a bit dirty here. Most of the dudes that are gonna be pre-fishing for the Classic are gonna be down all the usual haunts that I like to fish, so we're gonna head up, fish around the power lines, some areas around the mouth of the Logan, make our way back down and around as this tide comes in. We've got high tide, 10.30. It's half-ish tide now, not even. It's only just started making, really. But yeah, no wind all day. It's partly cloudy. I think it's coming off the new moon, coming off the back of the new. 
there. Got a drain coming up. Got plastics first up. Anton's got a new Crush City, little minnow. I've got a Holt Berkeley collab, one of their prawns on. We got the glide baits, I got the big Johnny Costello, my lure box, soft glide. I got some stuff for big fish, clear water, high tide up on the flats. Anyway, let's go fishing. Ready, Dutchman? I am. Here we go. Check your drag, let me check your drag. Hang on, check your drag. And then when I say back off, you're turning it that way. Yeah, yeah. Good then. Set the hook. Oh, it's a good fish. Back it off. That's how you back it off. Check my drag. Kids, check your drags. That'll do. Get it in there, Anton. Overhead punch like this. Two and bam. Big punch. Get it up in there. But I'll get us in there. We're going to go. Yep. Flick, flick, flick. Let it sit. Oh, this is that... <laughs> this is the knot Mueller put in this line. <laughs> Flaming Woodgate. Alright, there's a bit of weed at the mouth of this, Anton, so you'll be, you have to be prepared for that. Yep, see so you got snot weed. Rip that off. Get him up in there. There see I'm being a bit quicker now that I know that weed's there. Call it power fishing. See, I kept it out of most of the weed that time. If that knot pops on me. Oh, yep, fish. Oh! Ah, he's tip wrapped me right up in the shell. He hit as soon as that hit the water, eh? Oh, it's standby on this. We don't want to be wasting this. So, standby is power. Power, standby. Little bit of breeze, nothing bad though. Oh, I really gotta get rid of that stupid bloody knot. No, I just spooked a big one. Mother! Oh, and another one just went up there, little one. Son of a gun. Far out. I was aiming for a point and not fishing as I was trying to get there. Right where I meant to be though, coming up to where the water's coming out of there. Damn it! 
That shits me. Spooking fish. Once I do that bass boat up, man, I am putting bloody power poles on that thing like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Little poles you push down at the back so it anchors you, they just stick into the sand or the mud. So you get to the spot you want, you can sit there and pepper everywhere instead of having to electric and drive and make noise and... Yeah, shallow water anchor basically. That's a big fish too, over 70. Oh, you had one. You had one, Anton. What do you think you did wrong there, mate? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, mate. They fall off. Little ones shake their heads, what they do. I should rip out bloody Johnny Costello's big bait. Go big or go home, Anton. See the bottom? Yeah, I said, can you see the bottom? Yeah, it is. Bloody oath it is. All right, my lure box is soft glide whiting. Let's go. First time fishing this thing. Got a couple packs off Johnny C. They got pretty heavy gauge hooks in comparison to what I normally throw. So I'm going for a heavier rod, heavier drag, drive those hooks home, and we can back off if need be. Oh, she'll get out there all right. Pretty good sink rate on this. It's definitely not a lot of glide on this bait. It's just purely a big bait, I think. That's why it works so well. It's just a massive offering. And it gets down pretty easy compared to some of the glide baits. Oh, oh, yep. <laughs> Little guy on the biggest bait ever. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna have to pole him because that net's still under the deck there. <laughs> there you go, Johnny. That was about half a dozen casts with your soft line. And we've got a flathead, mate. <laughs> 40, 55. <laughs> you wouldn't read about it. Everyone raves about old buddy Johnny's little. Oh, look at it go. Oh, he's up, he's up, he's up. Oh, shit. Oh, we down here. Well, that's how you want to get confidence in the bloody lure, mate. You want to get a fish on it straight away in a couple casts. Then you're full of confidence. Hey, 58. Hey, not a bad start. First time throwing the old soft glide whiting. Nice little flathead. Can't complain about that. That's cool. That is uh, going to be an eater though. 58. Nice size to eat. And that will keep the family happy. That's cool. Look at that hook. It's only just in under there. Hey, how cool is that? Just on that lose mark crush one. That's that higher crank, higher retrieve ratio, seven point something, man. It's been that long. Uh, 10 to 20 pound lose speed stick. Just 20 pound braid, and I think it's a 16 pound leader. Just a little bit heavier gear, just to set those hooks. But that thing come out of nowhere and crunch that bait. My lure box, soft glide whiting. How good. <laughs> That's cool, Antoon. That's a fish. That's a fish. 
Is it gonna be legal? Oh, he's got a little soul. <laughs> he's got a little soul. What do we do with that? Let your line out a bit so you don't break your rod tip. We let it go, it's not size. But you hold it for me so I can get a shot of you. What you got there, Antoine? Oh, a little soul, mate. Arsehole? An arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let it go, that one's undersized. <laughs> Fix that bait up. These things are cool, watching them glide off. Nah, he's right. He righted himself. Oh, you got your tail chewed off before, too. Yeah, yeah I know. I noticed that. Would that be a color? No, it just doesn't have the same action. No. We'll give you the same color again, eh? Seems to work for you. And that was before I had that fish near the boat. Yeah. I know this is a of Yeah, it's from when we when we fish up shallow, the toadfish chew it up. Uh, now we got some confidence. Got some scales in the boat. Get back in on that edge, we'll get down. There's a deep run we'll do there. Then I got a big flat over there that's big fish flat. Oh, now we're cooking with gas. Oh, there goes one. Yeah, back here. See the puff of sand? Oh, yeah. Right. See, now you want to be throwing this way. See how you can tell the drop off? You've got shallow, shallow, and to the depth. They'll be pretty much in that area, like where that one just spooked from. Perfect. I had GoPro issues recently, so if you see the video that would have gone up before this will be... Oh, there's another little flatty. You see him? Oh, he's getting him. I had uh, some drama filming a carp video with the, uh, the batteries and some corrupt files on SDs and freezing and jamming and all sorts of problems, but... I did a test run with a few new SD cards and batteries and I don't know. Didn't have any dramas last night recording for an hour, so... Hopefully uh, no problems today and we don't miss any good fish. How cool is it fishing the flats, man? Clear water. Like, I know you spook fish sometimes, you don't want to be. But when one comes after your lure, you're going to see it coming. Let's see, if I do smaller tweaks, you get a glide out of this, but then in shallow water, it sinks too quick, so. Deeper water, I could see myself getting more glide out of it. Even here, look at this, top water bait couple foot of water you work that across the top no dramas get them interested drop it back I like working new baits figuring out how to play with it tweak it get it to do what you want it to do where are you going mate oh, just this is the dance floor up the front buddy it's rock again. Huh. seen them like that up at bloody Lucinda mate up in cans, look at this log. Oh, it's not a log. There can always be fish sitting near stuff like that, eh? As much as you don't think flathead are snag dwellers, it's a good ambush point still to hang around. Just don't foul up on it, Anton. No, no. That's not the plan. Good. Hey! Told you they'll sit around a little snag. Now I'll get away before we run into it. Still not legal, mate. No, look no. at you go. Good. Cool one. Hang You're on the board. Snag. Do you want to get that off or you want... Oh, you want to get it off? Yeah, you'll get spot. Little ones are the worst. So thumb in the bum. That's his bum hole. Yeah, yeah. Thumb there. Tip him upside down. Yeah. Curves his spine. He doesn't want to kick as much. Yeah. Get the hook out. He's been all nice and calm and gentle, and then you can flip him back. Hey, we're on a roll, mate. We're getting fish now. We're getting fish. If you start catching legal size ones, I'll be able to keep throwing the big bait all day. Well, normally I get all like, oh, if I throw a small bait, at least I'll catch some. Because if you want a proper 80 centimetre plus fish, you could throw this thing all day to get one or two hits. You 
might get some of those eager little smaller fish that think they can take it on, but proper big ones. I'm gonna take a few casts. Oh, flatty. Really? Oh, I reckon that one would have gone legal, Anton. That's a good size for you to catch. You have one? Little guy or legal? That's when you got to just know that you want your that first hit that you've got to hit and to set the hook, not just like start winding going, oh, what's going on here? Because you haven't set the hook. As soon as you go, something's weird there, little hook set. Caught snapper there, blubber lip brim, flathead. There's no reason why there wouldn't be a jewelry or a thready here at times either. We've caught jacks. It's a little something something kind of bank. Oh, this guy's back, or it's a different one. Oh, that was cool. Getting that first fish on the soft glide. Moved off the flats, a little deep run here. I'm going deep, just gonna fish a fish trap. Um, just hop it up and down. Probably stick with the plastic for Anton. Get him to punch it into the bank and see if he can make contact with the bottom. I'll see how he goes. If not, I'll change him up. But yeah, we'll just hit this run, fish deep for a bit, and then cross over, hit another flat. Yeah, tide's only getting better to get up into cool places, so it's gonna be fun. Hopefully get one deep, this will be cool. Oh, what's this? What's this, Taylor? Yep. <sighs> Taylor, just don't bite me off. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Make sure he didn't do any leader damage. No. Just make sure you get to the bottom, see if you can get that down. Do a little, just stand, just bring it in, right? And drop it at the boat and just see if it goes to the bottom. Oh, it's got rattled. Didn't need it. Nothing down deep, eh? Bottom fish strike. No, 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 no. It's coming though. Sweet. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it I told you it's a fish. If you haven't got a good, now just take it easy because this could be a big one. Sitting there watching your rod going. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. A yeah, back off a little. Back. A little bit, yep, that's it. Keep on him. Oh no, he's just a little guy. <laughs> Back here, uh, let some line out. I think he's legal though, Anton. Absolutely. Good one. We'll keep that out there in case we need it. Uh, better measure him, I guess. Bloody hell, he swallowed your lure. You had no idea he was there. <laughs> yeah, well and truly legal. What's the minimum? 40. Okay. Be with a doctor, doctor stuff going on here. Dentist, mate. Bloody hell, it is down there. He has dead set digested it, Anton. What have you done there, mate? I caught a little fishy. He nearly swallowed it, came out of the other end just about. But he's good enough. He's bigger than 40. Oh, it's making a move. Wasn't feeling the deep bite. Go up in a little shallow bay and get straight back on that big bait. Flying Dutchman will keep chasing a feed of the plastic. 
But when I'm in a big fish zone, I'm gonna throw that, that big soft glide. It's gotta get a big one. Well, you're saying with like flat. Yeah. You say they get spooked here, but like they hang, they grow up here and they hang around here the whole. Nah, they come and go. They go with the tides and places and times of year and. No, but there's something about spots that attract big fish, so this is one of those spots they seem to like. And it will be a bit weedy, you'll find you'll get a bit of weed. Just keep popping it and dealing with it. We'll pretty much just fish that side out. Oh, I want to get a real big one. Same here. We're getting them on this thing because you can see that bait most of the way. Yeah. Like all of a sudden, something just appears behind it, or all of a sudden, it just disappears out of sight. Or if they start following it, like they just materialize up out of nowhere. This big stingray coming at us. We realize we're here. Come on, big flathead. I haven't had one flathead ghost this yet. A lot of time you just get little fish that aren't sure following it and they just ghost behind it. Throw towards that dark edge there, mate. Oh, drop off zone. Part of the problem with high tide too, sometimes when I found it here on the other side, that they'll push right up to the hard edge. But being such a shallow bay, you can't get up to that edge. Like if you're walking the edge, you probably have a better shot. Not always, but I've found them do it. On the right stage of the tide, they love this drop-off edge. Come on, you're telling me there's not a flathead here to eat this? Like I said, it hasn't been fishing as good as it can fish. Working hard for him, mate. Yeah. We'll get him. We'll get him. Yeah, once we hit this sandy edge, you'll be right. Oh no, fish. Oh, he's up now, he's up. Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Yep, yep, yep. Now keep pressure on him. That's it, steady. Stop, the little tide, stop, 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 slow, slow. Yep, keep pressure on. Anton. Shitty weed again, he reckons. That's it, just take time, just take time. Hey, good fish. Hey, good fish. Good fish, Anton, good fish. Just keep the rod bent. <laughs> there we go. He's a, he's a good fish. Are you filming this? Yeah, I've got you. Film, mate. He's up, he's up. Look at his rounds, just keep the bear. <laughs> what, you stingray? No, no, big flathead. We backed you off a little, so just, just, uh, yep. Good flathead. Go oh, big flathead, Anton. Take your time now. Just slow, steady. When it's lunging its head, just steady, steady. It would get tired, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it would rub through the leader before it gets tired. Just gentle lead it to me. Don't lift its head out of the water. No, not yet. Oh, it's a good fish, Anton. Take your time. Slow lifts up. Oh, nearly, nearly. Slow lift up. This is the one. No. 
No, next one. Oh, I'm so close. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Anton. Look at the loser. <laughs> That's a big flathead, mate. Fucking look at him. It wasn't seaweed, was it? <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't seaweed. <laughs> Alright, keep that wet. I'll drive us into the sand, into the shore for this. The old flying Dutchman. He's called seaweed on three of his fish. I watch his rod tip, I'm like, nah. <laughs> that thing, that just went. Oh, it's a good fish. I'm calling it's too big to want to keep. It might not be over the 75 slot limit, but... We'll have a decision to make in here shortly, I think. We'll get some shots, we'll have a look at it, we'll put it on the map. Hey, not bad. Oh, not bad, mate. <laughs> hey? Might want to keep his head in the water, that's how they live. He's right, we're getting him in. We'll pull up on the beach here. The flying Dutchman, he can call seaweed, that's for sure. That's what he used to call my grandpa, Dr. Rock, because he's throwing away live yabbies and catching rocks saying, get that net, get that net. <laughs> oh, Anton the seaweed monster. <laughs> All right, let me get mine out of the way. We don't really need your lure in there. We know it was caught on a lure. Everyone can see the lure is there. I'll take that out and then we can leave your rod here. Yep, take him out. Take him out? Yep. Take her out, I should say. Support her belly. She's allowed to be kept. She's 71. Oh, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught, fellas. <laughs> it's still legal, 71. So, he's a good one. I thought it was seaweed first. And then I realised, oh shit, I've got a fish. And it was a big fish. A bit of a struggle to get it in. It's the biggest struggle I've ever fished for a long time. But actually ever. <laughs> no, it's good. It's a good one. Excellent. Good fishing. All right. I didn't want to do it, but he wanted to fish. 71. He's well within his legal rights to do so. That'll be the last one he ever. Oh, yeah. Watch out. We're on 10, mate. That'll throw you off your feet. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the last fish we'll need for the day, though. So, anything else now? Going back. Three fish. That big one will produce a few kilo fillets. So, a good kilo and a half, maybe kilo. I don't know. We got enough. That'll do. Well done. See well ya. done. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get some more. He wanted to eat the uh, the big glidey that size. Well, I can try and put it on if you want it. It's a confidence bait for you. Because if you go, hey, that's what just caught me a fish. You're more inclined to fish it, right? Well, then I think glide is better because they see it better. But... Yeah, and it's not exactly clear water. It's slightly discolored most of the places we've been. All right, back to it. I'm there throwing big baits and the old little bait gets to eat. Hook some more seaweed, Anton. Well, if that's what it produces, I'm fine with that. <laughs> hey, all that bloody time casting and getting nothing makes up for when you hook one of them. Yeah, we'll be off of this in a second. But this is, this is it. This is where they are. This is where they sit, you know? They lay between the little clumps of all that crap on the sandy bits. That's why certain baits where you're like, you see I'm hardly getting weed on this because it doesn't sink straight to the bottom. I can keep it just out of the weed. But that little plastic, that smaller offering will produce more numbers typically so you put up with getting the weedy shit on your hook and your jig head for the sake of catching more fish it any faster than producing anything, eh? no but you can 
hop hop it faster. I just imagine you're just keeping it 10 centimeters off the bottom, so it becomes as more of a dit 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 and just a constant little wind. Hop it faster and you'll see it come to the surface. So go fast, hop, 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 and wind, wind, wind. And you'll see it lift up. So then you just slow that down to the point where, like it's three foot deep. A fish is gonna see it no matter what. So you can get it to the point where you're just sticking off the bottom, but mid coming, mid column of the water, but it's still doing something. And then you pick out way less weed. Anton, little guy, little guy. <laughs> hey, the flying Dutchman. Yeah, good release. On the Rapala Crush City, a little minnow. I still yet to have a fish ghost this big bait. Normally fish the size you just caught or follow it like just like oh what's that and you just see them falling they never hit it but i haven't had one fish ghost this yet oh we'll fish this edge to the blue water and we'll make a move there's another spot we'll get up into where there's some high tide water about it's weird man like normally through all this you should be hitting those 30s 35s 40s like just Weird as last spring, end of winter through spring, man, it was insane. Yep. Right, we'll make that move while there's water in here, eh? Live by the sword, die by the sword. Big baits, man. What are you doing, Anton? Wind knot, it's called. You got it out? No, it's not a knot, it's just. Yeah, wind knot, loop throws off. Yeah, just keep letting it out. Just watch when you drop it. And then when you wind it up. Hold it. Yep, hold it like that, that's it. Make it go back on tight, make it tight, yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, oh, I had one. What do you do? First throw of the plastic. Oh, you said one more cast. I put the big rod down so that I'll throw the plastic. Yep. <sighs> Little guy, man. These are the ones that you should be catching. There should be stacks of them around. <sighs> Come here, buddy. You're getting let go, even if you were legal. What did he throw out? Oh, it's my bait. He ripped my bait off. Calm down, buddy. We're letting you go. Anton's killed enough fish for one day. Yeah. Oh, gee, that's a good fish, gee. Where's Reynolds? Reynolds would be like, well done, brother. Good work, Liam. Everyone loves Reynolds, eh? On the videos, they're like, buddy, Matty Reynolds, most supportive mate, best bloke ever, oh my God. Let's go check out this other spot. I don't know if I've told you before, but I hate GoPros. That one just said SD card error and I don't know what it's doing. I lost footage the other day. And I don't know. All right, catch a fish, Anton. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> what the fuck are you going here, John? <laughs> Watch that swell, mate. All right, do I stop trying for one big fish and just try and catch a few fish here or what? All right, I gave that a fair bloody crack. We'll go a plastic and we'll just catch a few, eh? How many are you on? What, what, what? How many fish are you on? You'd have to be on four, wouldn't you? Four, yeah, four. I'm on one. Let's see if I can catch three little guys and tie it up. Oh no, I got a little one, didn't I? Yeah, 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 little one. Two. Two. Oh, oh, oh. oh whatever. You dropped a rod. You just went to stand on the esky. You right? Yeah, I grabbed it. Oh. Luckily. You stood on that, your foot went through it. <laughs> well, we're in swell here. You right? Yeah, I'm on. Wind that line up, it's going somewhere. Yeah, this is the swelliest part of the bloody jumping pin. That shit rolls in from out there. It's all right. I don't know how much of that I got on film, but. <laughs> the falling Dutchman. <laughs> went flying all right <laughs> flying straight down oh dear oh anton <laughs> it's all right it gets calmer off that point now It's that swell you gotta watch out for because the swell sucks you back for a second and then yeah. throws you up. Tell you what, the fish are few and far between. Oh, ah! A little. Yeah, we're not doing it easy, mate, that's for sure. They're not in shallow. They're not out there. They're not over there. Try them out here. Try a bit deeper here, eh? Yep. He's coming at me. He's coming at me. What's he doing coming at me? He's oh, he fell off. He's coming straight at me. He's tiny. He's coming straight at me. Meal is lucky not. Hasn't bloody paid off. We'll go down and try that. Two drains down here and we'll call it a day, okay? okay? There's one big drain and then that one we started at. See if that fish is hanging around. Ah, let's go hit the drains there, Antoon. That tide's hopefully, hopefully fallen enough to expose them. That's a fish. It's a yeah. 70 centimeter flathead. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Remind me to change that leader when we get there. It's been chewed up. Oh, we're just about done. Anton's out of gutty. We got fish, we got to feed. Fish a drain, maybe two, I don't know. We're just about done.
If I can get two little ones, tie him up. Hey, hey that's a win. The wind got up a little earlier than it was supposed to. Better. I'm trying to catch up to you. You want to try and stay in front, mate? Damn it! Did you see that? I went to burn it in, got fucking clunked. Shit. Shit. Don't fall again, please. No, no, no. I don't want to have to tell your wife you split your head open on the bloody side of the boat. Holy shit, what's that? What the fuck? Oh, massive blubber lip, sweetie. Blubber lip, buddy, what do you call it? Blubber lip brim. Far out, if I'd have seen that in time, it was mudding, like feeding in the shallows. The thing was like two foot long. Shit. Oh, if I'd have seen that in time, I could have pitched a cast at that. Damn it. Out. That would have been a mad sight cast. Damn it! Falling Dutchman! 